Hello everyone, now this is a video I didn't think I'd be making today, but it looks like I got access to the Google Bard. And as much as I want to hype this up and say Google did a good job because of DeepMind and all the good stuff DeepMind has done, this is underwhelming to say the least. So uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of comparison here. I'm going to throw the exact same query at Bard that I threw at ChatGPT and that I threw at the Bing chat thing, whatever you want to call it. And we'll just take a look at how it stacks up. Uh, for this, if you're not familiar, in a previous video or two, I threw a query at uh, ChatGPT and Bing where I said, how do I add usernames to devise users in a new Ruby on Rails 7 application? ChatGPT using uh, GPT-4, but it keeps defaulting to 3.5 for God knows what reason, uh, manages to spit out instructions that give you something where you at least have a working username that has the uh, you know parameters being added to it, where you can actually log in and log out with the username, so that's pretty cool. Bing, on the other hand, struggles with it a bit. It does manage to uh, pretend that all of the citations from Stack Overflow answers and my YouTube channel are its own, which is interesting. It at least credits the people it's taking the ideas from. Uh, but because it's just scraping Stack Overflow answers, as you can see here when we hover over it, uh, it's it's not very accurate because it's, it's just guessing, right? Now we did figure out last time if we click on like new topic uh, we can go over to let me make sure I copy this uh, we can go over to the like more creative we can paste this in and it gives us something that is closer to what we would expect but of course the key takeaway here is if we come over to GPT 3.5 and we just paste this in uh, usually you get a response pretty quickly because it's just running off of what it already knows uh, Bing, on the other hand, is going to be a little bit slower, and we'll take a look at Bard in a minute here. Um, but overall, uh, the, the main takeaway is, you know, it kind of goes chat GPT and then Bing. So, like, what? how does Bard stack up? Well, the initial impression is not great, because although with the Bing chat, it tells you to generate a migration, uh, it tells you to run the migration, it tells you to add the username to a list of parameters for your configured parameters. Now, of course, this isn't in a uh, you know syntax highlighted code block. Uh, I don't know what this is, but it's not readable uh, or useful. Um, but this seems to be roughly sort of the idea of what you're going for. Now, I threw the same query at uh, Bard over here by going to bard.google.com. Uh, it told me to add a username field to the user model, update device so it works, uh, run migrations, and then restart my Rails server. And out of all of these, the only one that's really useful uh, is probably running the migrations, I guess, uh, unless you want to count like restarting your Rails server as a key step here, but I don't really know if that's even necessary in this case. Uh, but okay, so it tells us to add a username field to the user model. I personally don't know what that means in the context of a Rails application. Let me actually zoom in a bit here so we can actually read this. Uh, it then tells me to once again update device so it works. So it looks like this is the uh, highlight or the, the summary of what it's going to do. And then it steps through each of these steps. Uh, but the steps don't necessarily make sense. It tells me to open up device.rb and add a new configuration setting called username field. Uh, this setting should point to the username field that you just added to your user model. Also doesn't make sense. Uh, even like the verbiage here, I don't know where it would... It, it almost seems like it's getting this based on how it's seen other languages spoken about. Uh, but this isn't like even in the same realm as, as what I would expect here. Uh, I think maybe it's getting confused because you can change in your device uh, initializers. Actually, I think over here might even say it. Uh, in your device initializer, you can add the login as your config.authentication keys, where you do like colon login here instead of username. So I think that's what it's going for, uh, maybe similar to this. Uh, but again, it doesn't give me any citations. So like this is even less useful than the Bing one. Um, but then it just tells me, yeah, you know, just set that up, run your DB migrate, restart your server and you're good to go. So initial impression here, not great. Uh, another one that I did last time, and I think this one is really funny, uh, but I can come over here and I can say, are there any YouTube tutorials that cover uh, adding devise usernames? 
question mark. I can just go ahead and run this and I can run it over here in Google. And remember, Google does own YouTube. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> okay, so I, I don't even get a response here. Uh, Bing at least uh, links to some uh, tutorials. They aren't always accurate. Like for some reason, it really likes this user account roles tutorial that I made. I think this is mine anyways, uh, but this is definitely not for usernames. Let me just go ahead and pause this. Yeah, so for some reason it insists on, on linking that video, but that's fine. The Google one, again, that owns YouTube, it just says it can't, uh, <laughs> which I also thought was funny. Now, of course, ChatGPT uh, probably also won't uh, cover this with up-to-date resources because it's like limited by, uh, I think it's like September 2021. So this one could be uh, largely Rails 6 based. Um, I think Bing here is going to be the most useful, but again, at this point, like I'm just doing a Google search, right? So at this point, I might as well just go over to Google and just look for like this exact query and just go through this list where I get the first result because ultimately the search engine is still better at this than the, the chat bots pretending to be search engines, which is, is something else. I know I'm going to sound like I'm, I'm, I'm a little heated here, but like this to me is something that, that Google should be able to do pretty much out of the box because you just replace the query with the actual search result uh, because you are still a search engine. I don't know why uh, you wouldn't just uh, have that basic feature built in at this point. Uh, I understand wanting to build out the chatbot, but like if you can delegate something that you can't currently do to a Google query, why not just do that? It would give you a great excuse to insert some ads or whatever else. But uh, what do I know? I'm not a billion dollar company software developer. Uh, but okay, so this doesn't work. What we can try is we can say, are there any good YouTubers that cover Ruby on Rails 7? And this one I like because I ran this one earlier. This was the only query I tried. Let's see if it actually comes back with a result because it was it was wildly inaccurate. It was uh, okay, so it, it doesn't assist with this anymore. Uh, I think there's actually a way for me to go into the Bard activity, and I can go to uh, this one right here. Prompted: Are there any good Ruby on Rails YouTubers for learning Rails seven? Let's let's try that one specifically. So I'll reset the chat, and then I'll paste in: Are there any good Ruby on Rails YouTubers for learning Rails seven? We'll see if it's willing to at least try at this again uh, because last time it gave me a bunch of different uh okay so it changed the channels this time um but uh effectively what happened last time is it gave me a bunch of channels uh, mine included and it just guessed at like what the subscriber counts for these were <laughs> it was like you know the dnn channel with 40 million subscribers which would be lovely but is wildly inaccurate uh, and like uh, arbitrary number of, of videos uploaded and all of that. Uh, it, again, this compared to if we come over here, we just brush this off and we go to a more balanced, we'll set it to the default for Bing and we'll see what Bing comes back with, but it actually embeds the videos. It actually does the search for you and just returns the search results, which again is going to be a much better response than whatever this is like the, this intro to ruby on rails 7 full stack tutorial that makes sense to me if i'm trying to learn like a new uh a new framework or a new tool and i want to learn ruby on rails this makes sense right it's not necessarily uh who should i follow but it's it's one of the people i guess because all of the top results point to the same uh, same person. Uh, but if we come over here, we can see like Free Code Camp, Malakow, and David, David Battersby, uh, who also was in the uh, 20 million subscriber uh, count when, when uh, Bard summarized the channels. Uh, but, you know, it, it's just one of those things where I don't quite understand how out of these three, the, <laughs> the one that does the worst with the actual like Google related knowledge is the Google bot. Uh, and then the, the Bing one manages to scrape it just fine. The only thing I can assume is that Google doesn't want to hurt uh, the cash cow that is YouTube by outsourcing it somehow, maybe. Uh, but even there, if you go to like, if you go to Google and you just search for like Ruby on Rails username tutorials or something, 
uh, it, it it's already like scraping all of this info. It's all here because I have these chapters for my videos. So like you could easily just grab a timestamp and throw it in here. I don't fully uh, I don't fully understand why Bard has such a difficulty with this, even as like a a first trial run. Um, but you know, you never know what the underlying technology looks like. I'm probably being too harsh here, uh, but I really thought that like the basic queries I would try that Bing was was you know doing okay with, uh, it would also be able to at least slightly compete with. Uh, but like uh, for all of them so far, like how do I use chart kick in Rails 7? Uh, it it just doesn't seem to want to like, you know, do anything really. It, it, it it's it's like, yeah, just add the gem, uh, add the, the JavaScript and then just create a chart. And like this is creating the chart, sure, but uh, it, it's one of those things where it's like, how do I add the gem? How do I how do I add the JavaScript? And even over here, it tells you how to do this with import maps in Bing. Uh, I don't know why this Bard AI is is so underwhelming when this is the same company that has like you know Google DeepMind protein folding or whatever like. AlphaFold, that's what it was called. When when you have the company that, that makes, you know, AlphaFold behind this uh, and then they come back with like, you know, just very, I don't know, a very lazy attempt. <laughs> I feel bad for the developers working on this, but like the, the comparison of the competition at this point is obviously ChatGPT has a head start here. Bing is pretty much cheating. They're just using like GPT. Uh, but like I, I would have expected a little bit more from Bard. Uh, so hopefully like future iterations improve on this a little bit uh, more quickly than the competition does. Uh, but like the initial impression for me is like this isn't even worth using in comparison to the other two. Like I can't believe I'm saying this, but the Bing version is better than, than the Google Google one. So yeah, hopefully we'll see better uh, moving forward. But that's going to do it for me. Hopefully you uh, got a kick out of this. Hopefully you're doing well and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.